Let's refuel this ship. When you need gasoline or diesel for your car, you go to the gas station. Same for ships. But we don't go to the gas station. The gas station comes to us. And I'm going to meet her. We've safely anchored in this area and the banker bars just contacted us. They are proceeding now to our starboard side. So I need to be standing by outside. Bunkering is the supplying of fuel for use by ships including the logistics of loading and distributing the fuel among available shipboard tanks. The term bunkering originated in the days of steamships when coil was stored in bunkers. The barge approached the vessel at slow speed and this is the real speed. Okay, let's speed her again. They use fenders to protect the ship's hull and avoid damaging the paintwork. The banker barge now is safely moored in our starboard side. Now they will start connecting the uh, transfer hose and they will send the uh, banker surveyor to check in uh, their tanks. Busy anchorage and busy bankering area. You can see either here we have a vessel bankering in the same time. Now we have service boat alongside. He brought the uh, banker surveyor. He will come on board, take all the soundings in our tanks, and then he will go to the uh, banker barge. He will take the soundings as well there, and there he will compare the quantities before we start the bunkering. Let's talk about bunkering planning briefly. If you want to bunker in port A and sail to port B, the quantity needs to cover from port A to port B plus reserve quantity. Some company requires additional quantity to sail five days at eco speed or a percentage of the total quantity used in this voyage. And to receive your fuel in port A, you need to order it at least 10 days before. Three days before arrival, you receive the certificate of quality from the supplier. So we discuss the certificate of quality with the technical team to confirm that specs are meeting the vessel requirement. This is the upper deck or main deck where the banker barge is moved. Always safety first. In this large area beneath me, we have the fuel tanks that can keep the vessel sailing for more than 30 days. And from here, we do the manual soundings to cross-check the level that this chief engineer is monitoring in the engine control room. So these pipes, we take the soundings and check manually the level of the fuel tanks. Let me show you something small that can save the vessel millions of dollars in case of claim. Is this plug. And this opening is called the scupper. It allows the water draining overboard in case it accumulated from rain or any water accumulated on deck. But in case of bunkering, we keep these openings closed with this plug to avoid any fuel oil going overboard in case of overflow. Now we go to the engine room and see from where the operation is monitored.
We are in the engine control room while the chief engineer keeps monitoring the level of tanks being filled and check that the lineup is correctly set. They start with slow rate. When they see that the level is increasing in the assigned tank, they increase the rate slowly, slowly. One important thing is the new fuel taken is always kept in empty tank and we avoid mixing it with the other fuels existing on board and we don't use in our engines until these samples are analyzed and the result is sent to us to confirm that the specs are the same as per the certificate of quality received three days before arrival from the supplier. During the banking operation, we take these samples, we analyze them, and we keep them on board for a period of time for any third-party inspection, just to confirm that the vessel is using compliant fuel oil. Let's talk now about the bunkering price. In the bunkering business, we have two reference prices. We have the Singapore price and we have the Rotterdam price. So for today, 25th January, 570 US dollar for one ton only. This vessel capacity is 5,500 metric ton of fuel oil. So the cost of refueling this vessel is 3,100,000 US dollar for a voyage of one month only. So this ship consumes in average 150 ton. So she consumes 85,000 US dollar per day only of fuel oil. Bunkering completed. Uh, the bunker barge now is away. It's already gone and it's time to depart for us. By the way, do subscribe if you haven't already and see you in the next one.